Welcome back to my throne, YouTube friends and family. It's Dark Prince Leo back with another video. Now today I'm going to be talking about Galaxy of Heroes. Now if you play Galaxy of Heroes, it is a Star Wars game, which I play on my phone a lot. So, And they just announced that Darth Bane has been released. If you don't know who Darth Bane is, he's the one who enacted the Rule of Two. As in all Sith tradition, there can only be two, Master and Apprentice. That's it. And the abilities for the uh, rule of two is very, very powerful. So I won't tell you what it does, though. I think it's better if you find that for yourself. I see, I read his abilities, and they are in pretty insane. But he's only available in the Conquest event, so make sure you uh, have your team built and ready and a lot of energy to spend. Because, uh, well, he's going to be in there. So it's going to take some time to get to him. And then not only that, but uh, Bo-Katan Mandalore has also been, is coming to the hollow tables. And her event is coming up in less than a day. And I can't wait to collect the shards for her. So with Bo-Katan Mandalore, well, especially dealing true damage. Apparently, if you build up enough ancestral armor... Her abilities heighten far more up, especially if your team is Mandalorian light side allies. So if you have the Mandalorian Beskar armor, that can make a huge difference too. And if you have IG-12 and Grogu, Paz Vizsla, and you can choose to use either Bo-Katan, Kreeze, or you can use the armor, or one of those two. Or if you want to be spontaneous, you can use some of the other Mandalorian units, but... It's more recommended to use the light side Mandalorians like Sabine and the armor, Bogotan Kreeze. But definitely, if you're building a Mandalorian team, I would definitely recommend if you use Bogotan Mandalore, the Mandalorian Basque armor, IG 12, and Pazvas. Have at least those guys in your team. And of course, your fifth person, like I said. It can be Bo-Katan Kreeze from her other form, or you can use the armor. I would recommend one of those two. So, basically, what she can deal is using her ancestral armor. Apparently, the more ancestral armor you get, the higher the stacks, bigger the bonuses, especially for the team. And, well, the higher the ancestral armor is, the better her true damage will actually be. And... Boy, when I read the abilities on her by looking at her skills and everything, they are very powerful. Very. But only if you can build a team right and you make sure that you have the mods and your relic amplifiers all set to go for her. So, And of course, as they do with every new character release from any marquee event, definitely make sure if you buy your booster packs. Buy the booster packs and them to... Get the shards, get the gear, the mods for it. And, well, and like I said, they'll be available for a limited time. I think like about, I think it's about a week. They'll have new character releases. And then if you're patient enough, they'll bring the pack back for like a few days, maybe a day or two. And um, they will be packed by limits. So either that or if you're one of those old school players that just want to grind and just build up and show them you got the skills, then heck, do that too. I mean, I, I do that too. So you got to grind, gives you the effort. And so for all you dark side users, if you're aiming for Darth Bane and trying to build a very powerful Sith team, go for the Conquest event that's coming up for Darth Bane. Because like I said, he is one powerful Sith Lord. And for anyone who's participating in, um, well, getting your team nothing but Mandalorians and fighting by your side, then heck, go for it. Whichever one you pick, or, well, basically everyone's going for both, of course. I mean, unlocking the characters is pretty much unlocking more galactic power for you. So, so... But it's whatever teams you also want to build too. So definitely make sure you participate in those events. The Conquest event for Darth Bane and the Marquee event for Bo-Katan Mandalore. And I hope to 
Well, I will be participating in those events just to make sure I get the characters. So, but I think that's going to be all for uh, this video. And uh, if you like this video, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, hit the notification, and stay tuned on my channels. And just to let you guys know, it's getting close to Christmas, so I better hope you're getting all your Christmas shopping done and everything. So, there's just one other thing I also have to say. From Mandalore. <laughs>